meningitis when I was 15 months old. I am lucky to be alive today, and I have science to thank for that. The vaccine for that disease was developed after I had the disease. The only impact on my life was that I got deaf. I am thrilled to be here today in honor of science. We are celebrating science, and we are celebrating the fact that everyone brings their own unique perspective to how we do science. Deaf people are visual learners. There are studies being done right now by deaf scientists on bird songs. They're not listening to the songs, they're looking at visual readouts on computer screens and studying the songs through visual technology. That's the kind of impact that deaf scientists can have on our world. The person who is the father of the internet was a deaf person. The person who developed the Harvard classification system for stars was yes, a deaf so person. There are research third, scientists third, from all kinds of backgrounds. We are studying all kinds Hold of things, like this. including like this. the Gallaudet yeah. 11, this. who were men who were deaf and therefore could not get motion sickness, and were studied by NASA and figured okay. out how we could send people to space safely. Okay. These are the kind of contributions that diverse people can make. Deaf scientists, scientists are studying basic science in all kinds of fields. Remember, Environmental science, science student outreach to the impact of humans on our climate, including my research on the river system here in uh, Washington. Lots of big science words. Looking at how to reduce pollution and make our water systems safe. Science is the way to future. We want to make global changes. We can vote. And we can do that through diverse perspectives in science. No matter who we are, no matter where we are, science benefits from our entire community. Science benefits from diverse perspectives and diverse beings. Thank you.